Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I firstly want to say that I'm sorry for not posting, but I am I was busy with exams cuz end of the year in Romania. So, uh, yeah, today we well, as I promised a couple of weeks ago that we're going to do a part 2 of the plastic wasting. But instead of fridge restock, we're going to go to water talk. Because I'm more experienced with water talk, or at least I know about ice talk and other talks like that, but only with water talk I'm as familiar or super familiar. So yeah, uh, without uh, further ado, let's uh, let's just begin this. Let's make a water of the day. First, we're going to start off with some ice. Now we're going to pour our water in. Today I'm gonna go with the- uh, I was going to say, yeah, it's pretty normal. Ice and water. But then she puts packets of other things and then of course throws the packet away. And uh, yeah, but this one is much tamer, but it's still considered water. Bussin. Honey, that ain't water. That, that ain't water. But uh, I, what I meant by it was tamer, uh, tamer is that they don't use a ton, at least she didn't use a ton of packets of flavoring for that specific drink, for that water of the day. And so there wasn't a lot of waste used, but it can be a lot more. This is how water talk made me fat. Mm -hmm. Now you might be saying like, what water? It's zero calorie, it's zero free. The punchline is, when you're not used to consuming artificial sweeteners like this, your body will blow up like a puffer fish. So this is my story for all those who actually want to hear it. Um, so I know how to lose weight. I have lost 50 pounds in the past and, you know, it's in a sustainable way. So it takes a while, but I know how to lose weight. Like it's, I don't know. I don't restrict. I go out with the girls. I have fun. Well, you know, drinking a gallon of water a day, that can really um, be boring. <laughs> I know. So when I saw these on TikTok, I was like, I have to have them. Anyway... I was on this weight loss journey, I had lost 50 pounds, and then due to an injury, I would gained some of it back. So we'll call that weight X. When I had gotten back to weight X, it hit, it hurt, but we were going to do it again. So in the process, I had weight x in a month and a half, dropped 9 pounds. Living a very comfortable life, I don't restrict, it's just, I can do it, right? Cool. Well... I go out with the girls for one night, and, you know, when you go out, you're going to gain a little bit of, like, water, blow it weight, because you're not restricting, and so, you should never restrict, but, so I gained about, you know, when I go out, like, three or four pounds for, like, a day, two days, and then I'll go back to my original weight, and I know that, and it's okay. Well, one night I go out, and li literally gained all my weight back, nine pounds, all nine pounds, went right back to my original ex hiccups from drinking normal water. Anyway, so then I was like, okay, that's a little bit more. Let me give it, you know, the days. We'll weigh ourselves in three days. I was still up nine pounds. In my head, I was like, how is this possible? How is this possible? Anyway, kept my regimen, kept my regimen. Next couple days, still up nine pounds. At this point, I'm like, no, what's going on? I'm back to my regimen. I know this should be steadily losing, like a half a pound to a pound a week. What's going on? Well, I realize the only thing I have added into my life were these sugars. I'm one of those people who eat primarily whole food. So I'm not used to consuming artificial sweeteners. I don't drink soda. Not that that's bad, but like I just, my body's not used to it. Literally cut these out for 24 hours, drop six pounds. I was so bloated from these waters. And you know what? I'm just going to go back to drinking my gallon a day of plain water. Lemon water. Maybe I'll make it fun and add mint. Please go check out her uh, TikTok account because she is saying the truth. I'm not certified, but lo uh, gaining six, losing six pounds from just, lose, from just cutting out the sugars in your life can, uh, from the uh, for the water for your water of the day is just crazy you can see the actual problems these uh, sugars and sweeteners can have now i found 
POV video to liven up the mood, you know, to be more positive uh, about water talk. I find it pretty funny, but I hope I'm not offending anyone. Let's make my favorite water together. I'm a water girly through and through, so I have a large amount of water right here, and I'm just gonna dump that into my Stanley. Then I'm gonna take this prime packet, and you only need a little bit. Next, we're gonna take some lemonade, and don't worry, it's zero sugar, because we're not trying to get too crazy over here, and you're only gonna need a little bit of this as well. This is when it starts to get really good. We have some orange juice. Just a little drop. Since there's not much flavor in this yet and it's basically just water, we're gonna add some orange tangerine Mio in here. This is actually my favorite part. We're gonna add some peanut butter. You only need like a tiny droplet of this. We all know you can't have peanut butter without any jelly, so of course we've got some strawberry jam. You guys, this is gonna be amazing. Now you just give her a good mix until everything's blended together. Okay, I'm in love. This literally tastes just like water. Like, you wouldn't even be able to tell that there's anything in here. We all know the saying. One sip of this drink will, ta will taste like heaven and the other one will take you there. This is literally the personification of that saying. It literally has so much sweetness and so much sugar that I can't take it. Maybe that peanut butter is actually going to downgrade that sweetener, but still. Let's make my water of the day. <laughs> what flavors am I gonna choose today? I finally got my- Why? Why single use? Why single use? I mean, I understand that it might taste good, but it's still single use, honey. Do multi-use or something so to avoid the plastic waste. I'm not mad at it because I know it's going to be bomb. I know I'm going to love it. Okay, so I'm going in with my first ever Starburst lemon flavor packet. I am loving the color already. Let's go ahead and give that a little mixer room, shall we? <laughs> it's such a deep yellow. I love it. Now it is time to add my ice. Y'all know I need a lot. <laughs> ice tax. Okay, you already know I have to try it on its own first. Let's see. Mm. Oh my god. That is so bomb. Now it is time for my Guys, have y'all heard of two liter, liter water baller bottles? Or one liter if you want to have 0505? Zero five, zero five? You don't need to waste two plastic bottles for this. Just put it in one two liter and you would be fine. So I am about to head out to my aunt's engagement party. So wedding cake, I think that's pretty fitting. Let's go ahead and add a generous amount of this. And bam, there it is. It smells so good. I'm gonna give it a quick little mixeroony. And taste us is coming in three, two, and one. Let's see. That is so good. Oh my god. I think it needs like a splash more. But it is freaking delicious. Wow. Mmm. So good. Uh, I don't know what happened to the TikTok uh, logo that appears at the end, you know, with the person who makes the video. So you, that's the way I usually credit people. But I don't know at this time, this point. Hey guys, so we're going to be making a water today. You're going to need green apple and sun-kissed strawberry. And then you're also going to need strawberry lemonade. Ma'am, if you mix water with lemonade... What's the point of it being called water? So we're going to do the strawberry. And then we're going to do the green apple. Again, the unnecessary water bottle usage. Because you can just, again, use a two liter water bottle and add the two fa flavor packets, mix them together, add ice, and you would have the same result for less plastic waste. We're gonna do the green apple on the bottom. Then we're gonna go in with the strawberry lemonade. To top it off, we're gonna go in with the strawberry. So that's gonna be the water of the day.
Honey, that water looks redder than the blood in the Nile in the times of Moses and redder than that, that third of the ocean that's going to turn red when the Lord returns. So I'm going to show you my water recipe for y'all. So, uh, take, get with y'all one bag of oxygen, pure oxygen, and two bags of pure hydrogen for, that are, all have the same weight, aka the bag of oxygen weighs the same as one bag of hydrogen. So, after this, mix the two together in an airtight container, container and then set it on fire. Boom! You got your water of the day. That airtight container should be a vacuum. But that's all I'm going to be doing today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And even if you don't, oh well. Uh, remember to not send any hate to these people because they want fun water, then that's not their problem, that's not their fault. But this can cause pollution or just to be detrimental to both the ecosystems that they inhabit and their own health and safety. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video again and see you and see y'all in, in the next video.